All right, we're going to move on to the next topic now, and we're going to switch our focus to the UK. But before we get into that, we do want to talk generally about music videos um, and how much of an important role they play in rap generally. And obviously, for us growing up and just generally, like a generation of rap fans, the music video was like very important. It was the first point of call to see your favorite rappers in all of their glory. Um, everyone from Hype Williams to Director X to Cole Bennett now in the present day. I don't know why I thought you were going to say Hype, Hype, Ushia. Sure. But the word of Hype up is Hype up. I don't, I don't up, know why. And, and now I'm thinking of a SLK video. What, Hype, Hype? Yeah. Ooh, oh, Saskia um, Lot. I'm just, Ooh, trying, I'm just trying to set up this topic, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Keep <laughs> this in. <laughs> That's a big song, though. Listeners, you see the struggles. Um, but yeah, from Hype Williams to Director X to Cole Bennett in the present day, the music video is and always will be very important. Even if there are debates these days about their relevance and their importance in the present day. Um, now, obviously, in the UK, the music video is just as important. And we kind of wanted to explore the evolution of music videos in the UK um, because it's been quite a journey, really, um, just as far as how we see our stars and our faves presented in video format. So, um, boys, as Peter says, react. Evolution of music videos in the UK. Where do we start? Where do we start? What was your first UK music video? That was two, you know. First one I remember. 21 seconds that I just remember watching every day kind of so but you know what's one that would always stick into my head mm. more fire quote oi mm. that's one video that was like I just remember reacting to and just thinking yeah this is fucking crazy and just rushing home that's the two that kind of the early early videos I would say so solid crew 21 seconds mm. and I would say more fire crew oi those are the first two I kind of think of music video wise I remember pay as you go Cartel, Champagne oh, Dance. Okay. I remember that one vividly. More Fire Crew, yeah. Pow, obviously, Lethal Bizzle. Yeah. Dizzy Rascal, Just a Rascal. Mm -hmm. And I Love You. Mm -hmm. um, these are all, I mean, listen, what a time, right? Um, but yeah, Pay As You Go. I definitely remember that as the first one. And then it kind of just evolved with like Chan Yu and stuff, which is obviously very important um, for the topic. P? Yeah, same. Same, really. Um, Channel U was like, Channel U and MTV Base were like hella important for the music videos that I saw growing up. Um, yeah, the ones you guys mentioned, didn't it? Like, so Solid 21 Seconds. I don't remember, but Pairs You Go, really. Um, Dizzy. I remember seeing Dizzy a lot more. Fire Crew, I remember seeing them quite a bit. Um, like, I think my memory kind of recalls in errors. Same. They're, they're different errors, isn't it? Um, and I feel like the UK also had, we also had our own developments as far as that. Like, music videos and that because we had um our rappers in like the 80s and the 90s that you know had the turntables and that do you know what i mean like um well, there's a the brother's name that. called like Derek b Derek b yeah do you know what i mean and like <laughs> why, <are you> laughing, <laughs> <laughs> why say it like that <laughs> how do i say it Derek b you made it seem like it was a like, he's not a, like, like he's not a pioneer respectfully yeah, you made it like it was the 60s um, but yeah so we i feel like we we kind of had our eras where we were kind of following what was happening over in America and that, and then we started putting our own spin on it. So after you had like the Derek B's and that, for me, then you had like the Garage Era. And I feel like stylistically, a lot of their videos were like the same. Do you know what I mean? Like seeing like um, early So Solid, um, and I can't remember some DJ Neat, MC Neat and DJ Luck and that. Um, a lot of their videos were like pretty much the same in that. They were all like club settings and like strobe lights. Champagne. Champagne, do you know what I mean? And Babes. then um, and then you go into the Channel U era, which kind of felt like a more of a do-it-yourself attitude. Um, and it was felt like it was really independent. And I find it really interesting because like going back before that, that's when it felt like labels were kind of, you know, embracing us a little bit with like garaging that and like UK rapping that. And then when we go into like the Channel U era, it's like, you know. There was nothing after that. And you would have thought that maybe because of Dynamite and So Solid, they may have wanted to embrace more of what we were doing. But I guess maybe because it was a different sound, they weren't going to. So visually, they weren't going to as well. Plus, Garage had proven that it could sell. Mm. Number one albums. So Solid won a couple of awards. Obviously, Miss Dynamite won. As, as we said in the last episode, she 
got a lot of critical acclaim. So there was a lot of um, safety, I suppose, in knowing that those acts and that sound was going to be successful because it was the popular sound. And then when grime comes into the mix, it's not, a, it's not accepted immediately, and B, I imagine they're very scared of it because it's a lot of, <laughs> yeah. you know, young black men, you know, all black, grainy videos, um, you know, the Channel U type of aesthetic. Um, it was something that they didn't really get or understand and really see as, it's a bit, I suppose it's the same as like what the disco lot thought about hip hop. It's just a fad. It's not going to last, this, that, and the other. Mm. And I imagine that's how people felt about Grime as well, the garage heads included. Mm. Um, Grime had to prove that it could do what it could do. And obviously people like Dizzy and Kano were very um, instrumental in that. And those are people, those are guys who, you know, had built up enough hype um, doing sets and side wideners and all that stuff to where they got signed and they were able to get label budgets to drop more glossy videos. Like, um, well, I mean, P's and Q's wasn't really that glossy. I'm thinking of, was Brown Eyes glossy? Brown Eyes. Brown eyes I was. mean, he's walking along glossier. with Glossier. It was glossier. glossier. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, I suppose. And then Dizzy, just a rascal. He's just on the... Um, He's just in London doing his thing. Um, so yeah. Music videos were like always very important for me, man. I think when Channel U was doing this thing, it was important to put faces to these people that I was hearing as well. Because like I'd hear little freestyles of certain artists like on my friends' phones and that. But I never knew what a lot of these men looked like. I didn't know what Rough Squads, a lot of them men looked like for a long time. Um, so Channel U allowed for us to kind of put faces to that. Because it was just before YouTube as well. So you could have really, mm. it was just, kind of that cross between because I feel like Channel U collided perfectly when YouTube first started rolling mm, out mm, mm. so if you didn't know who he was like Chipmunk I knew her Chipmunk bare times mm. growing up I seen Chipmunk a couple times but it was only when his music video came on Channel U that I was like okay this is my man mm. I forgot what song it was do you remember Chip Diddy Chip no no before Chip oh. before Chip Diddy Chip um, like, I am the grand scene saviour oh right and you just see his yeah, video yeah, yeah. that video for this but that's one that sticks with me mm. so yeah I agree with you there in terms of putting faces to names Channel U was key mm. but I do think we've leveled up in videos now I feel like UK take, I think we take visuals a lot more serious than the States when you look at the UK videos. More serious than the States? If you look at UK videos on a whole, like even with Mostak, the way he just travels abroad and does videos, I feel like UK's music videos are, I think they've taken it very seriously. I think we've stepped up. I don't know if you can say we take it more serious than the States because we we still kind of cat a lot of what they do. Like a lot of them. I don't think America takes There's a format. There's there's definitely a format. I don't think they take visuals seriously over there anymore. I generally don't think they do. When you, I'm talking about, about, about new artists. I'm talking about new I'm just saying everyone from, not talking about from way back when, I'm talking about from everyone from, say, 2015 onwards. If you compare their new artists to our new artists, I think visually we are better. Um, I think that speaks to... That might be the quality of the art as well. Though. No, not even that. I think it speaks to just more how... I think it's more advanced over there, isn't it? So obviously, because their scene is established, a lot of things come from, you know, hip hop. They don't need to do as much. They don't need to shoot as many videos. Whereas we do, we need those visuals. We're, we're in a time where, you know, as there are going to be continuous like technical advancements in that. And we need to ensure that we're keeping up with that as well. Visuals for artists that are trying to get their name out there as well, very important so that you can learn more about it. People are on YouTube on the internet all the time. so. America don't really need to shoot videos. No, but that's like what I'm that. saying. That's, I agree. But that's why I think visually we've been better as well. Maybe I don't know, but I'm not going to say we've been better though because I still feel like there's a format. And like in my head, I was breaking it down as far as errors and that. And like Channel U era, it was, there was a format for that too. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Every man was like, you had like gang man behind you. And you knew what it was on. The, 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 the footage was a bit grainy. You were on the block, outside the block. You were on the road somewhere. Unless you're bear man when you're running through the woods. Um, and... <laughs> Sorry, I if, 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 if it was like a, <laughs> yeah, if it was a posse cut, the person that then started rapping, there would be a still, and then his name would pop up. I, I used to hate that yeah, shit yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to hate it. Was, it was like, would just though. pop up underneath, yeah, or just yeah, pop yeah. up over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In graffiti yeah, style, right? The door, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. Then, and then the name just graffiti, exactly. right? <laughs> but for me, there's errors though, and because of that, I think in those errors there are formats for the videos that were being made. Because then after you had the Channel U age and that, when Grime started kind of dying out and that. Then you had the era of where like certain men started trying to cross over. Some of our favorites started crossing over. The like, Tinchi era. Tinchi and Tyro Cruz era. Yeah, the Wiley Tiny. and, and, and Skepta with the Rolex eras and that. Very glossy. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? And that's when I feel like that's labels era. were... Yeah, probably. That's that was where more like, like labels were kind of like in the fold a bit more. And you had Chip also doing a bit of the, the glossy Chip videos too. Chip, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then 
from that point, it felt like, or it feels like videos probably got better because labels got... Just money got better. Yeah, the budget increased. Budget, budget yeah. increased. But then there were also independent artists that were releasing quality music videos as well. But then it couldn't... And, trust- and you could probably like place... Like a lot of the kudos on like Grime Daily and, and SBTVs and that because okay. they came into the fold and that I think that affected how videos were being made too because they were shooting a lot. True, yeah, but well, I think everything just got better as a whole. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? I think we just upped it. The left, whether it was the, the sound quality, the music quality, the video. Mm. I think over the years we've just got money that we've never seen before, exposure mm. that we've never seen before, mm. and naturally videos are going to resonate. That you I don't necessarily it. want to equate more budget or more money to better. The reason why I say that is because someone like Skepta. The That's Not Me video. That cost him £80 to make. And it was a very impactful song and a very impactful video just as far as him rapping by Maximum on the decks. And then in the background, you've got all of the old Sidewinder, Risky Rolls footage from way back in the day when them guys were like younger and doing their thing. And that was just as impactful as anything that would have cost 10 times as much. Yeah. So I think it just depends on the kind of direction that videos have taken just as far as like creatively. I think that's definitely increased because again, as you guys say, UK artists are paying more attention to the visual aspect of it. A lot of them, some of them are even directing that on videos as well. Um, so there's that. And yeah, there's more care and craft towards that. Um, yeah. But, but again, if you give someone like a hundred thousand pounds to do a video and they've got shit ideas, it's going to turn out shit sort of thing. Yeah. So it just depends on the person behind the idea. And even on like, just going back to what I said about there being a format for the different eras, I'm not saying that where it was bad because I feel like for a lot of the things that were established as far as format in the Channel U era, very important for what we see today. I feel like that's the foundation for what a lot of men build their videos around. And it? it's very easy. It's not, it's not, I don't think it's bad. Easy doesn't mean bad. It's just another way of showing where you're from. And I feel like a lot of the format that was, the foundation that was put forth as well was like another way of bringing people into like, you know, the world of these artists as well, especially where, you know, these labels were scared to um, touch a lot of these artists and therefore weren't really trying to know about who these artists were. The visuals gave you an opportunity to do that. Facts. I agree. I agree. 100%. And again, it kind of just goes down to, the overall development of the scene, because as the, as the scene develops, obviously everything else is going to develop around it. Mm. Um, you know, just as far as artists are concerned and the kind of infrastructures that they're in that allow them to be able to maximize their visual um, desires on any particular video. Um, as far as like modern day videos, are there any that, you know, kind of stick out to you? Bar the Stolte one, obviously. Oh, Mel made me do it, yeah. Um, Sims, Point and Kill. I love that video. Fantastic video. Love that video, yeah. I'm trying to think. Nux, Hide and Seek. Yeah, I enjoyed Told that. a great story. Yeah. Leon the Professional as well. Yeah. Very simple, but effective. Yeah. Visually, I love more stacks. Uh, do what I want to. Video. Just visually. Pretty much all of Koji Radicals since about 2016. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they've all been very powerful in their own way. Um, Cashmere Tears is probably my favourite video of his. Yeah, I think the more quote-unquote alt artists... I don't know. Okay, I don't want to say that they're creatively better, but they just seem to have a little bit more variety. To they break they out of the mold. Yeah, they break out of format. <laughs> yeah, versus that kind of mainstream artist that you know kind of do the same thing: girls shaking the ash and all that stuff. Mm. Um, which I'm not mad at. Which is fine, but ultimately, respectfully, it depends on what you want from a from yeah yeah. <laughs> it depends on what you want. It depends on what you want from a video. Do you want the video to kind of tell the story of the song itself, or do you kind of want it as a kind of supplement to the actual content itself sort of mm. thing. And I think that's where mainstream, a lot of mainstream artists go. They see the chance to make a video and it's just like, yeah, let's just show everyone how much we're balling and we're flexing and how rich we are versus mm. actually telling the story of the song. So I guess it just depends on what you want to do with that. As I get older though, I don't really care for music videos anymore, man. Like I'm just about the music. If the music video accompanies it, then, then great. But it, I'm that, not someone that searches for it, man. Is that... You or is that just the way the world's heading? Um, I can only speak for myself. Do you get what I mean? Though? Mm. I feel like the world's just heading, just uh, the world's heading there, bro. No one mm. goes on, everyone goes on YouTube. If we go on YouTube, it's more time. If I'm going on YouTube, it's to watch first take, first things mm. first, to watch something. I'm not going there. I remember the last time I went on YouTube and actually go, let me go listen to this music. Do you know mm. what I mean? Mm. It's just if I'm going to listen to music, it's very much Spotify, wherever it is. Yeah. I'm not going on YouTube on my phone to go. Mm. Nah, nah, n- never. Question really. though, has, have videos here always been a bit repetitive? In terms of what? 
Um, Expand. Themes. <laughs> um, just how you would see, what you would see in your videos and how the videos are. Reason why I ask because in the garage area, a lot of, the garage area, a lot of them were doing same sort of themes in their music videos. And you go to the Channel U era, a lot of them were doing some of the same themes. I think it's different. Now. Garage in the let me even let me go deeper. The garage era, a lot of them all in clubs. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, the DJ all up in the. You know what I mean? Had people just having a good time in that Channel U era. Every man was in front of their block with a gang of man behind them. You might see some bellies, you might not. You might be fortunate to see some, but you might not. I don't think that's the case time. today, though. Um, and then um, after the Chani era, where people started trying to cross over, you know, a lot of um, designer wear started coming into it, where you had like Versace shades and I'm thinking of Tinchi specifically. Standing um, on some elevated stuff. Uh, there was always like a lovely young woman beside them. They were always just mad glossy in it, chains and everything in it. And then I guess after that, it kind of felt like, all right, now people are off trying to find their own way of doing videos differently. But for the more, for the more time, there was still like very repetitive though. I think it was the way you said it. Yeah. I think depending on the era that it was, because that roller sweep era was kind of nasty. Wild. It was a very, very nasty. It was in a nasty place for a little while, guys. We've came through it, but handled that. But it was in a nasty scene. Mm. But that was all kind of one. I think now, because of the difference, you've got Dave. Kind of, I think doesn't Dave do his own videos? I'm sure he done Funky Friday. He does. He does co direct sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I think he had co directed Funky Friday. And if you mm. look at the, the, that video, the skill of that video was ridiculous. So I don't think it's repetitive now. Unless it's, you're always going to get 50 man ballied up if it's, if it's drill. Or maybe it's just reflecting it's just the, the time. You know I mean? Maybe it's just talk, Gig's it? talking the hardest as well. That's probably the scariest video. In yeah. Your but I think depending on the song, the blueprint is always going to be the blueprint. It doesn't change. Whether it's America, whether it's here. Or does it just reflect the time? Are these videos just reflecting the times? So when, you know, the garage era was doing that, that was reflecting what was popular in our community. Channel U era, again, same thing. Do you know what I mean? Post channel you, same sort of thing with different eyes. Is it just reflecting the times that we're in? I think it might also reflect. Because you're always, sorry, Yem, you're always going to get these things, isn't it? You're always going to see videos of people in clubs. People club. You're always going to see videos of people with a gang of man in front of their block. People because that's real man. life. That, do you know what I mean? So is it just that or are we lacking some no, I artistic think people, I don't something? Think, I think they may have been, maybe generations were following what visually they knew was successful or mm. looked successful as, as far as being able to look the part um, in order to be successful. Like the garage lot, parties, mm. excess, all that good stuff. Grime lot, grainier, maybe a little bit more quirky and creative, um, but still in the type of, you know, this is the underground, this is London, this is this, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. But that was what was popular at the time. And that was what, you know, meant something to them. So maybe they're just kind of following, maybe they were all following an idea of what was relatable to them and what made sense to them. Um, I don't necessarily think that's hampered like the UK music video, but it is something to consider for mm. sure. Um, but this summer we've come a long way and there's a lot of good directors doing it now as well. There's Nathan, yeah. Nathan Tetty, he directs for Heady Wine and a bunch of other drillers. Um, there's Ashley Jade. <laughs> Whenever Yemi says drillers, I laugh, man. <laughs> Um, there's Kirks, there's 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 loads, um, and they're all doing their thing, making yeah. making everyone look as as, as good as possible. Um, the actual art of directing has gotten better as well because mm. a lot of people Definitely. are, you know, actually that by trade, like directors by trade, and not just like holding a camcorder yeah. or whatever. So yeah. that obviously is reflected as well. So yeah, I mean, I think it's gone through a bit of a renaissance, isn't it? Yeah, much like the UK scene in and of itself, musically, visually, it's gone through its own kind of like development and renaissance for sure yeah what are some of the worst videos you guys remember seeing what was the one there was a disgusting end up one <laughs> was like, number one was pretty bad what was the one when they were walking upstairs which I think someone was cheating on someone oh don't waste my time they disgusting disgusting <laughs> disgusting video no, no, no. Uh, so, what? Well, what didn't you what like about it just everything he's knocking on the door and someone's knocking on the door just <laughs> grainy it looks like he's on 240p telling the story, though. nah don't piss me off bro it's 240p can't even see the brother's head because he's cut off at some point can't see the female's <laughs> knees because he's cut off at... like it's just ridiculous nah, that video is charity from low. Low. Yeah. nah honestly yeah that char... that's the first you see how quick I answer that that's always gonna stick in my head that video is mm. pathetic um the first video that I remember loving was from a UK artist, might have been P's and Q's, you know? Yeah, classic. Yeah. It was just so simple and basic, but I was just like, yo, this guy's... In Adi Ghetto, 
Mm. In other girls' videos, yeah, to me, time. it's iconic. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, it's iconic to me. Um, did you say Titi Strider number one? Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, that was disgusting. Yeah, no, that absolutely was terrible. Wasn't he standing or something? And it was like black, to black background or something. Because you know he's throwing it. Mm. He stood on something. Tact, one yeah. of my earliest favorite videos was like um, Tinchy Underground. It would be. When he's on top of the, that brick wall. It would be. In the academics tracksuit. I remember that like it was yesterday, man. I'm trying to think of other disgusting videos. Tiny pass out. Mm. Pretty bad. Yep. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Yeah. yeah. Wiley wearing my Rolex. Pretty bad. Yeah. Rolex sweep. Horrible, yeah. Horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, that was disgusting. Some, Especially. Dark, some dark times, man. Yeah, just that era generally. Because yeah. they're all wearing like really dead shades and same sort of shit, leather, right? Really dead leather jackets with the spikes and you know those kind of those kind of half glove things mm. and Roll it, you know, Roll, uh, yeah, yeah. Ed Hardy, like Ed Hardy, yeah. Well, why was Ed, Ed Hardy, Hardy ever yeah. a thing? Because he had the time. Skeps used to love it. I wear Ed Hardy down to my socks. Got so much Ed Hardy. I can buy my own. Yeah, he used to love. It. That's and then they said flow dropped. Yeah, and that's not me. Oh, I'm trying to think of another video I hated. What was the one? What was the one Chipmunk done in Glazemore School? You should know. Yeah, the school. He done it in Glazemore or Part View. What's on? Ah, oh, chip did he chip? I don't want to hear no lip. Did he lip? I like yeah, one. I didn't like that video. I didn't mind it. I didn't like that video. I didn't like that video. I didn't like that video. Mm. Oopsie Daisy was pretty trash. Oopsie Daisy was trash. I just remember him walking down the stairs. Sad. What's that song? Yeah, called is it called Diamond Diamond Pearls or Diamond Rings? I, I like that one. When he was in the yeah. like the mobster suit, wasn't he? Wasn't Remind he me of Bugsy wasn't, Malone. Wasn't he? Wasn't he dancing with them, man? I don't like, know if on, was, on the stage. I don't remember. I feel like he was. Was he dancing with him? I think he was doing some dance moves still. <laughs> Big up Chip. No, Big UK, has, <laughs> UK has had some horrendous, horrendous, yeah, horrendous music videos. But now... I'm music... trying to think of some sort of But bad. now we're at a point where it's hard to find some terrible videos. Mm. It yeah. might be samey, but to call him terrible? I don't know, man. They were... I don't know. It's yeah. a bit like all music now is very well produced mm. in the same way that a lot of videos now are very well put together. Yeah. It's just whether you like the actual content. Mm. You still find your Grime Daily video where, you know, there's a rapper in a hotel with a with a babe. There's a plethora of those. That's always going to be there at all, man. Yeah. Like, there's always story. Like, if you're talking Drew, you're always going to have 50 men behind you. Mm. Talking romance, you're going to have a babes with you. Some blueprints are always just going to be followed. Mm. But you don't really... You, uh, when was the last time you saw a, a, a rap video where a man's begging for his babes back? You never really see that. Oh, a rap video where he's begging for his babes back. DJ yeah. Ironic, stay with me. Yeah, but in the video, you know he's actually begging. In Stratford. I don't know. You know that? I, I just don't remember him. He was in a church. Yeah, you know Have that. we ever even seen that in a rap video where he's begging for his babes back? What? Just a rapper? I don't understand yeah. the relevance. Of this. I thought he said DJ Ironic. You know Drake, DJ Ironic. Understand sells the relevance his... of this? Quick question, yeah. Can I tell someone? I'm the point quick... I'm trying to make I is really we need some fact. more man begging for their babes. Back. No, we don't. <laughs> the hell goal is to raise one wish, bruv. About we need rappers. No, I don't. I need my rappers. We just need a bit more creativity and yeah. like. You know nah, what I mean? man. If you got a song about babes, why not? You gotta show both sides. If, nah. if that's the if that's the like content of the song too, why not? Call it to LA Cool J Hush. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just saying, isn't it? But back to DJ Ironic. You know he sells CDs at Stratford. <laughs> Don't do that to DJ Ironic, man. Shout out to DJ Ironic. He had a couple of tunes though. Tiny Dancer. What was his songs? I actually don't remember DJ Ironic songs. I think like Tiny that. Dancer was with Chip. So yeah. He sampled out on John. I remember that one. I was good. I don't remember DJ Ironic like that. I remember him. Don't get me mm. wrong. But I don't remember. There was I just no... remember Stay With Me. And I think he was visiting. He was in a church and he was visiting maybe his babe in the hospital. So, yeah, I have so glad I brought that in my memory. Anyway, man. But Peter wants PSA to rappers get your babes back according to like, Peter. What I'm saying is, if you've got a song that is about a babe and you're begging for her back, do you know what I mean? Reflect that in the video. That's all. You don't really see that. Oh, okay. I've never knew about songs like that. Sorry. Oh, you mean, and there were numerous rappers that talk about, oh, you know, I lost my babes while I'm cheating. So, so you I mean, want to see? They it? don't really reflect it in videos. So, so I'm you just saying to... reflect it in a video. So you want to see a telenovela of a guy <laughs> yeah, he definitely get his babe back? <laughs> in Hollywood drama. He wants it. And on that note, it was a telenovela. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about R and B as well, man. What do you mean? People about don't R&B? really talk about. They don't really like beg for their babes back. No more. Everyone's too cool, man. No one asks for their babies back, innit? Especially guys. Guys don't ask for yeah, guys don't shame. ask for their babies back. Why are you indulging him? That's good. It's now. a shame. It's twenty twenty three. I'm talking about R and B though. R and B boys is after ten. R and B uh, is yeah, you don't even hey man. I'm going to see Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in. <laughs> salute to the UK scene, salute to music videos, salute to everybody doing it right now. And uh yeah, looking forward to seeing how uh the music video develops in this country. 